There was no obstacle so great that Phileas Fogg could not overcome it. When Mr. Fogg told his friends at the club that he could journey around the world in a mere 80 days, they laughed. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible, they said. On the contrary, he said calmly, it's quite possible. I shall return, he told them, at this exact time on the 16th of September. And so it was exactly a quarter before nine o'clock on that Saturday morning that Phileas Fogg left for his journey round the world in 80 days. No one believed that Mr. Fogg would make it. 80 days couldn't be enough time. But at one second before a quarter of nine o'clock on September 16th, into the club door stepped Phileas Fogg, and in his calm voice he said, My friends, here I am. But Phileas, cried his friends, this is the 81st day since you left. Gentlemen, said Mr. Fogg, you forget that I crossed the international date line. It is here that the new day begins. By crossing in an easterly direction, I lost an entire day. So you see, I have indeed come around the world in exactly 80 days. The end. <coughs> around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne is one of my all-time favorites. Come on. Nobody could actually get that far that fast unless they were in a jet airplane. It's impossible. A lot of things are possible. If you have the right attitude, you can find ways around most any obstacle. She's right, as always. It's all about having a positive outlook. But of course, some things are still impossible, like going around the world in 80 days without, as you say, a jet. I'd give every pie in this wagon to anyone who could do that. If anybody could do it, Strawberry Shortcake could. She can find ways around any kind of obstacle. Uh, Ginger? Yes, yes, I know. But still, she couldn't possibly make that trip. Uh, she could do it with her eyes closed. If she didn't make it... Oh! I'd expect something in return. How about every berry in Strawberry Land? Why, yes. I guess that's a fair deal. What would I do without these kids? I'll be back in 80 days, but I don't think you will be. Take good care of our berry plants. Have a nice trip. Ginger Snap, what did you just do? Uh, said something I shouldn't have, didn't I? I'll say. And the worst part is, he's right. You'll never make it back in time, Strawberry. Maybe not, but maybe, just maybe, I will. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Ginger Snap had it in her garage. Can you believe it? You gotta be kidding, right? You really think you're going around the world in this old thing? Hey, I made that myself. It'll go anywhere. Anywhere, you say? Hmm. But is it safe? Sure it is. It can fly in the air and float in the water. Well, it is an amazing piece of machinery. Ah, uh, but what's this? These bolts are a bit loose. Better fix it. We wouldn't want to have an accident. Here, let me give it a gentle tap. Yes, that should do it. Ought to work like a charm now. Hey, what did you do? Strawberry Shortcake Vlog. 
Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, how dreadful. Ah, well, you might as well give up. No way you'll make it now. Strawberry, get up here and stop this thing! I'm coming, Peppermint! Bon voyage! Good luck! See you soon! Here, here, take my hand! Thanks, Peppermint. Now get us down, please, Strawberry. I want to go home. What happened here? Nothing's working. I have to fix all this. Just turn it off. Make us land. We're going to be fine, Peppermint. We're already over the ocean. I guess that means I'm coming along for the ride, huh? Welcome aboard, shipmate Peppermint. We could be anywhere. We could just be flying around in circles. We'll be okay. Besides the panels, I've been watching the stars. There's the bright berry star of the east. It looks like we're headed right where we want to be. Don't cry. Don't be blue. We're sailing toward a day. All the joys in store when you're sailing toward tomorrow. The sun will shine so bright and we'll be guided by the stars at night. They remind us we can dream of more cause we're sailing toward tomorrow. So don't be scared or Just hang on a little longer, Peppermint. See, out there? We've made it! It's Paris! Where Crepe Suzette lives! What's the matter? I think we're out of gas. Hold on! ship's a wreck. It's not going any further, I'm afraid. I guess we'll never make it now. No. We'll find a way around this little obstacle. We'll find a new way to travel, the same as Phileas Fogg did. Ah, Paris. We've made it. But this is costing us a fortune. What's the point? The berries of the garden are worth far more. So quit complaining. We have work to do. Work? There's that word again. Bonjour. Entrez, s'il vous plaît. Hello, Crepe Suzette. Strawberry shortcake? Is it you? Bonjour, Crepes. Hello. 
You remember Peppermint Fizz, don't you? Mais oui, bien sûr. Of course, bonjour, Peppermint. Please, come tell me what brings you here. The next thing we knew, we were flying across the ocean, headed toward Paris. What a remarkable journey you've had. Well, it's been a long one anyway. We've been going for weeks. Oh, Peppermint, it hasn't been so bad. After all, look how far we've already come. Yeah, but I doubt we'll ever make it the rest of the way. You know what I do on long trips? I bring along a bag of small gifts and reward myself with one at the beginning of each day. Let me make one up just for you. I'm afraid we can't stay very long, Crepes. The controls on the boat were broken and we lost some time getting here. We need to make up at least a day. Thank you, Crepe Suzette. Is there any other way to get from here to there? Oh, yes. There's a train running that route every afternoon. If you hurry, you can still catch it. I knew we could count on you, Crepe Suzette. You see, Peppermint? We're making good time again. You just have to keep that positive attitude. <laughs> Looks like the sheep want to graze on the tracks today. It'll take forever to get this cleared up. Guess we're not gonna make it after all. Remember, Peppermint, there are ways around any obstacle. Even this? Yes, if we work on the problem a little at a time, we'll be able to handle it. We can't move these sheep all at once, but we can move them one at a time. Come on, little fella, follow me. You see? It just seemed like a big obstacle. When we took it a little at a time, it wasn't so bad. What do I keep telling you? She can overcome any obstacle you put in her path. It's time for plan B. <sighs> no way we're gonna move that a little at a time. It'd take years. There are other ways to travel, like that. Oh, Strawberry, tell me you're kidding, please. Come on, we don't have any time to lose. What's she up to now? We saw that tree down to stop her in her tracks. On to plan C. Just look at this, Peppermint. We're halfway through the jungle already, and we still have 40 days left. You know, I should reward myself. Like Creep Suzette said. Hey, looky, it's a camera. Give us a smile, Strawberry. We've made it. We're out of the jungle. Thanks for your help, my friend. And thank you, nice elephant. Strawberry Shortcake, is that you? I know that voice. Tea Blossom! <coughs> so you see, now we have to find a ship to take us the rest of the way back. If we can get home in three weeks, that rotten old pie man won't get the berry fields. I'm sure we'll find what you need. <coughs> My friends are looking for a very fast ship to take them back to Strawberry Land. Old Soggy Sal is one of the finest and fastest boats that ever sailed. It sounds perfect. Do you have room for us? We surely do. We'll sail with the morning wind. If you want to come, be here before the sun. All right. Thanks. Thanks for your help, Tea Blossom. Oh, it was my pleasure. Come back again when you have time to stay longer. You got it. <laughs> Thanks for everything. I know it's been a long trip, Peppermint, but we'll be home soon. Are we going to make it in time? The way I have it figured, we'll get there in exactly 80 days. Oh, the poor dears. They actually think we're taking them home. It'll be a lot longer than 80 days when they get back. 
You know, Strawberry, for the very first time, I really truly believe we're going to make it. Something's wrong, Peppermint. The bright berry star of the east ought to be there, not behind us. Maybe you're looking at the wrong star. There's a lot of them up there. Maybe. We'll know better when the sun rises. I was right. We were headed south. But why? Those fishermen said we were going to Strawberry Land. We better go talk to them. I'm sorry, little one, but I don't have time for talk. It's you. And you too. Why, yes, it is. So good of you to drop in. And good luck with the rest of your trip. <laughs> I can't believe how terrible those two are. They abandoned us on this deserted beach to stop us from getting back to Strawberry Land. Well, it's not over yet. Well, now where are we? I'm not sure, but there's something very familiar about this place. Strawberry shortcake? Tangerina? Hi there! Tangerina Torta! Is there anywhere you don't have a friend? What an amazing journey! I can't believe you've come so far. Trouble is, we have a long way to go and only a couple of days to get there. I'm beginning to think we may not make it. You don't have a rocket ship laying around, do you? I'm afraid I don't have one of those. But I have a motor scooter you can use. Cool! Perfect! <laughs> We're almost there now, Peppermint. But Strawberry, it's 8.35. We only have 10 more minutes. Don't worry, Peppermint. Yeah! Oh, no. What now? I don't know. I got it. Creep Suzette's gift bag. What are you doing, Peppermint? Just overcoming another obstacle. <sighs> the right attitude, Peppermint. Well then, I think we can agree they aren't coming back in time. We've won fair and square, and the berries are ours. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, 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 hold it, look over there. You're here a full day late. This is the 81st day since she left. Those are the breaks, dear. I'm afraid you're wrong. You see, we crossed the international date line here in the middle of the ocean. That's where the new day starts. So that makes today the 80th day, not the 81st. No, can't be. Tell me she's wrong. She's right, as usual. Come along, dear. We have some pies for you. You've won them fair and square. No, but thank you very much. That wasn't why I made the journey. Then why did you do it? To show that I could. To show I could overcome all the obstacles I faced. But you weren't supposed to make it. It was impossible. It was quite possible. I knew all along this was going to happen. I knew she'd pull it off. She always does. Are you coming or aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it, Strawberry Shortcake. You made it around the world in 80 days. It was a fantastic trip, but I'm very glad to be back home. Home is where the heart is, that's what people say. 
Home's what makes it special when you get to go away. You can travel new horizons. You can sail to distant shores. The home is where the heart is. Home is where you come from. Home is who you are. Home gives you the courage to decide to journey far. And wherever the journey takes you, you'll remember all the Just every sight we can But there's always something special about the place it all began Home's what you come home to Home is what you dream of Home is where the start is Home is where the heart is Cause home is love Cupcake patience. They'll drop some food sooner or later, and when they do, it's ours. On your right, coming through. Watch your back. Stop, Bowie. Stop, Bowie. Oh, whoa. Ah. Phew. Whoa, think you got enough boxes of cookies there, Strawberry Shortcake? Well, yeah, I think so. Oh, fresh and home baked. Stop, Bowie. Whoa. Oh, no. Apple dumpling. Sorry. Now some of these cookies are ruined. What do you want, Apple dumpling? I want to help, Star Belly. Oh well, no, I I don't think so, Apple dumpling. Aw, oh, please. You're a little too little, you know. Why don't you sit and watch us cook, okay? Okay. We can show you all about cooking. How's that sound? All white right, strawberry. First, we'll start with some very important kitchen safety rules. Number one, and most very important of all, always ask a grown-up before you do anything in the kitchen. Next, be sure to read through the whole recipe before you start, so you can make sure you have all the ingredients and all the supplies you need. And be sure to wash your hands with soap and water before you touch the food. When you measure the ingredients, be sure to do it very carefully. Always follow each and every step of the recipe. Wash all fruits and vegetables before you use them. Be careful, because some foods, like meat and chicken and eggs, can have germs on them. Use different knives and cutting boards when you're fixing these. And wash your hands when you're done fixing them. You gotta remember to keep cold foods cold and hot foods hot. That keeps germs from growing. If there's leftover food, cover it and store it in the refrigerator or freezer. Always wear the right clothes, like shoes and an apron. If you have on long sleeves, push them up. Oh, and make sure your hair's out of the way. Never try to put anything in the oven without an adult's help. Hot food in the oven and the stove can cause very painful burns. So we use oven mitts or pot holders to protect our hands. Turn the handles of pots and pans away from you so you don't accidentally knock them over. And make sure those handles aren't over a burner. They can get very hot. And clean up as you go. It's much easier and much safer that way. And now, if everybody's ready, ready, let's wash our hands and get going. What now, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? Where do we start? What do we do first? Well, 
We... Now I help. <laughs> I don't think you're ready quite yet. Apple Dumpin' wanna learn. Well... Maybe you could help a little bit. You can help, um... I know, you can help by getting the wax paper ready, okay? We need just enough to cover this tray. Uh-oh. I got it, I got it! Don't got it. Watch out! Get it! Yay! Oh. Mm. Almost had it. I got it! There it goes! Whoops! That enough? Yeah. I think that's plenty, Apple Dumplin'. Oh, Dumplin', just look at the mess you made. <laughs> you! <laughs> Sorry. I think maybe she's helped enough, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? But I... Maybe it'd be better if you just watched, Apple Dumplin'. Wanna help? Why don't you find a place where you won't get into trouble? But, yeah, maybe you ought to take a nap, huh? Isn't it about nap time? But I'm not sleepy. Maybe you ought to wait over there, Apple Dumplin'. You know, working in the kitchen can be dangerous. Yeah, it's not a job for babies. Angel Cake? Apple Dumplin', not a baby. <laughs> There's nuts I can do if they let me. I am not. Oh, a baby. I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not. They think I'm little, just a tiny tot. But I'll show them that I'm not too small, and I can do any, any, anything at all. Cause I'm not little, not too little, oh no I'm not. Watch how I can tie my shoes, wait, I'll try again. I know how to count to ten. One, five, nine, six, ten. I do lots of fake girl things like run and jump and play. It's plain to see I'm practically grown up in every way. I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not. I wish they'd trust me to stir the pot. Cause I'd show them that I'm not too small. And I can do any, any, anything at all. Cause I'm not little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. I know 50 rainbow colors, red, blue, green, and red. I can take my big red ball and bounce it off my head. Ow! I pick flowers like the grown-ups do and roll downhill all day. And did I mention how I love to run and jump and play? Oh, I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not. They treat me little, but I'm not a lot. If I show them kangaroos pouch myself then i can crawl inside myself and close my eyes and hide myself and dream of things to be tried myself i'm not too little not too little <gasps> oh no i'm not <sighs> <sighs> now. And you babies are little. I am. Huh? 
Now, you do like Dumplin' says, okay, Orange Blossom? <laughs> and Dumplin' does not need a nap. Isn't that right, Ginger Snap? Goo 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 ga? And now we will bake a cake, okay? <laughs> okay, we'll bake a cake. First we need... Mmm, berries! <laughs> that smells good, hmm. Ew, no, that doesn't smell good. That doesn't smell good at all. <laughs> Baby Ginger Step, is that you? <laughs> oh, Baby Ginger Snap, yuck. Baby Ginger Snap, you go change that diaper right now. <laughs> oh, baby Ginger Snap, Apple Dumplin' will help you. Please, baby Ginger Snap, don't ever do that again. Okay, now we'll bake a cake. <gasps> oh no! The baby! <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> Messy baby angel cake. <laughs> no, no, baby orange blossom. <laughs> oh, that's not very helpful, baby ginger snap. Come on, time to cook. Now, very first of all, <laughs> baby strawberry, don't eat off the floor. better. Someday you can cook too when you're big like me. You're a little too little not big like me. Just a little bit little but I guarantee that one day you'll be big and tall. And you'll have no cares at all. Like me. Like me. When you're big like me. You're just an itty too
and you're big like me. Now I put in baking powder. Baking powder will make the cake get big. Oopsie. Baby strawberry! Please be careful! Okay. Hmm, where was I? Oh, yes. Put in baking powder to make the cake get big. <gasps> Baby orange blossom! Oh, please be careful. Okay. Now, where was Apple Dumpling? Oh, baking powder to make the cake get big. I put in a little more to be sure. There, that will do it. I've got my oven mitts on. In goes the cake. There. Whoa, ooh, ah. to do is always ask 
a grown-up for permission. Now what, Strawberry? Now what? Now we cover a tray with wax paper. And we set out six cookies, bottom side up. Now we use some ice cream. We left it out a while, so it's kind of soft. We add a scoop on top of each cookie, just like this. Then we add another cookie, top side up, on each one, and we press them together. Then we cover the whole thing with more wax paper. And we put them in the freezer until they're good and frozen again. About two hours. Here's some we already made. Now what's up right now, what? Well, now we eat them! Yummy! Here you go, Apple Dumplin'. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Thank you, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Mm, looks delicious. My favorite. I can't believe it. They didn't drop a single bit. <laughs> no, but I did find a special pet treat just for you. I knew you wouldn't forget us, Strawberry. <laughs> Mmm, red, ripe, and ready to pick. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! I'll thank you not to steal my strawberries. Find your own, will you? Finished if you keep eating them. Try the beginning. She uh, and then plus mm, on top of that, and the worst part, she's been robbed. <gasps> you know how she gathers sea berries at Seaberry Shore to make sea berry treats for you and all her friends. Oh, I certainly do. And you also know she's all alone. Just her and me and two dozen monkeys and nobody else for miles and miles. Only there is, but there isn't. Say what I mean? Well, not exactly. Not precisely. Not at all. Somebody stealing the sea berries. We need your help, Strawberry. Of course I'll help. Friends help friends. Coco Calypso needs help. Count me in, matey. The good ship Rainbow Float is at your service. And I love a good mystery. Can I come too? Sure. You know what they say. What's that? Mystery loves company. See, it's simple. As long as we keep heading ahead, we can't get lost. Land ahoy! We're here! We're home! We're home sweet home! I'll go get Coco Calypso! Time to drop anchor! Give me a hand, mateys! Whoa! Uh, this is uh, heavy! It has to be to keep the houseboat from drifting away. Hi, everybody! Calypso! I want you to meet my friends, Rainbow Sherbert and Blueberry Muffin. They've come to help. Oh, thank you. Come on with me and I'll tell you everything that happened. It all started a few weeks ago, when I went out on the rocky point to gather sea berries, like I do most every day. Nothing seemed wrong. After I finished, it was time for some supper, then off to bed. <sighs> In the morning, when I went to bake some sea berry treats for you, <gasps> the berry 
creatures were gone. A trail of them led to the lagoon and disappeared. Someone or something had stolen all of my sea berries. And every night since, the same things happened. That's why I haven't sent you any sea berry treats for weeks and weeks. Well, it's not going to happen again. If we can help it. Here's what I gathered today. They look lovely. Try one. Mmm, yum. Delicious. I never tasted anything like them. Because oh, there isn't anything like them. They only grow in the waters off Seabury Beach. We'll make sure nothing happens to them, even if we have to sit up all night. Right, girls? You got it. You can count on us. There. Now all we have to do is sit behind these palms and wait for whatever we're waiting for. I don't know how to thank you for this. I sure hope we solve this mystery soon. <gasps> you can count sheep on it. I mean, sleep on it. I mean, you can count on it. So long as we don't fall. <sighs> so tired. again. And no one will come see me. Not with some creature in the lagoon. Don't give up hope, Coco. We don't even know what kind of creature this creature is. Could be a putter there, glad to see you, not so very scary sort of sea creature. We're just going to have to find out, which means getting it to come back again, which means... More, more sea berries! Sea berries. Ready, set, heave ho! Now we pull the net in very slowly and evenly. Don't jerk it or we'll lose the berries. How very beautiful they are. Tonight we'll take turns staying awake and keeping watch. All right, dinner time! Coconut juice and taro root crackers. Aren't you going to join us, Coco? Can't. Got a big surprise to share with you all. We're on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
of you, Coco. Hey, you can all move in with me if you wanna. I'll take the first watch so the rest of you can sleep. Strawberry? Does Coco seem kinda, well, lonely to you? <sighs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Rise and shine, Rainbow Sherbert. Uh, aye, aye, Captain. I'm so tired I could fall asleep just sitting here. <sighs> I know just how you feel. <sighs> And shine. Uh, oh no! It happened again! And there's another trail of berries. It's almost like this thing wants to be caught. Maybe it does want to be. Maybe we ought to take my boat out in the lagoon and look around. I don't see anything. Nothing except those dark clouds on the horizon. Could be a storm coming. Check it out, sea berries. Let's stop the boat and get out the net. Uh, how about a hand with the anchor? Mm, how about two? Anchors away! We got a ton of sea berries today. We sure did. Shiver me timbers. We'd better head back. A storm like that can move fast. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, dear. We've got to get back to shore. Whoa. Whoa. Give me a hand with the anchor. The boat will be ripped to pieces! Let's heave and ho! Heave, ho! Heave, ho! <laughs> it's no use! The anchor's caught on something! Ah! I don't know how much more my boat can take! Ugh. We're moving! The anchor's come free! What luck! Or maybe it wasn't luck after all. Whoa! Hmm, it's been cut! That means somebody or something helped us. But who and why? Look! Did I see what I think I saw? If you think you saw what I think I saw, I think we all saw it. I think we better get back to shore. And I think I have an idea. When the berries are moved here, 
It moves this wire there, which will make this rope here pull the net up into this tree there. And this alarm will wake us up. This time we won't sleep through anything. Trap! It worked! We finally caught it! Whatever it is... Watch yourself! It might be dangerous! It might bite... Or claw! Or breathe fire! Or something absolutely awful! Or maybe it's no monster at all! I'm going to let it down! Strawberry, no! <gasps> A mermaid! Where? Where? Oh, oh my! You're not a mermaid! <laughs> I never said I was. You're a girl! I never said I wasn't. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is Coca Calypso, Blueberry Muffin, and Rainbow Sherbert. I'm Seaberry Delight. I live in the lagoon. Hey! How'd that get there? That's our anchor! I thought you might need it. You mean you cut the rope? Well, you looked like you were in trouble. I was out on the rocks when I saw the storm coming in. I saw you were stuck, so I dove in the water. That's when I saw that your anchor was caught in a rock. I swam right home to get something to cut with. You see, you have to swim to get to my house. It's the only way in. My house is hidden from above, so I'm safe from storms. I went right back and cut your anchor rope. I hope you don't mind. Mind? You saved our lives! You live in the lagoon? Yep. But how come I've never seen you? I've sort of kept to myself. I guess I'm no good at making friends. During the day, I take care of the sea berry plants and gather the berries when they're ripe. I use them to feed myself and my friends. My favorites are the sea sweeties. They're about the cutest creatures in all the sea. But then one day, the sea berries began disappearing. I had to do something. My friends were hungry. Oh no! I thought you were stealing them from me. But I was stealing them from you! Coco was taking the sea berries to make sea berry treats. Would you like to try one? Mmm! Oh, they're very licious! But I guess I won't be able to make any more. I have a very good idea! Maybe Coco could take a few berries less and share the treats she makes with the sea sweeties. What do you think, Seaberry Delight? I just know the sea sweeties will love these wonderful treats. And what's more, Seaberry, you can be a friend to Coco, and Coco can be a friend to you. Hooray! Yay! Yes! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Life is sweet on the Seaberry shore. It's so much sweeter than ever before. In the sugar white sand where I once walked alone, there's a new pair of footprints next to my own. And a change has begun at a sleep in the bay. more with a friend. When you share things like places you love, the sand at your feet or the stars up above, the sand feels softer, the stars are more bright, and the whole place feels just righter than right. There's a warmth in the air and a hug in the breeze that wouldn't be there if it wasn't for these new footprints beside me here on the shore. Somehow a friend makes it all mean so much more. A friend you can call, a friend Sure. Friendship's a sugar sweet treat and it's more It's somewhere to count and it's something to make It's somewhere to run when you're needing a break You'll see troubles fade and you'll have a new view Everything's made so much better by two The tropical beat on the sea berry shore You know a friend makes it all mean so much more